Hello guys. Today I'm going to do some resin art. I got some casting craft um, opaque pigment. I got some Alumalite blue dye. I got those at Hobby Lobby today. And then I have my Baltic Day um, pigment powders. I'm going to make something for my mom for her birthday this weekend. I already mixed up my resin. So, and I use KS resin. And this one is the liquid art epoxy. It's a one to one ratio. And we got that all mixed up already. So let's clean off my stick and then we're gonna divvy this out. Oh, I guess I could leave that in there. So let's fill up this cup. Um, if you guys have already know how to mix your resin and all that you can fast forward through this it looks like there's a hair in that cup great just what I didn't need um, that's okay though if you get a hair or dust or something in your resin when you pour it out on here you could just get it right on out of there so yes it's been a busy week we had my husband's birthday on the 13th, then our wedding anniversary is on the 20th, and my mom's birthday is on the 21st. So, this is like our busy time. I wanted a little bit more clear left over, and I didn't get it. So, I'm going to put a little bit of clear on here. I might have to steal some from another cup. I probably should have mixed my colors first. Darn it. Okay. Already messing up, of course. That's just how things go for me sometimes. Seems to have been happening a lot lately. But good things going on too. So I just want enough clear because I want my colors to flow and hopefully I'll get through this without too many interruptions. Seems like every time I try to film a video, I always get interrupted. Phone calls, text messages, not enough space on my phone, <laughs> you name it. It happens. Let's get this all moving and grooving. Just a very fine, thin coat. So that when I, because I'm going to do like a Dutch pour. So I want it to be able to flow. So I made my little hobby lobby trip this morning. Or this, yeah. This morning and got some new stuff. I'm going to use a little bit of this clear for these spots that don't have anything. some of that just get this all clear let's see am I all covered here there's one little spot right there okay now I'm gonna do white And this one. And you don't need a lot. You need like 10%. Oh, wow. That was... 
that one's really white. So I'm going to use my Cricut Maker, and I found this really cute saying. I think it was on Pinterest. It said, Mother first, friend forever. So I think I'm going to um, cut that out of... Uh, out of some vinyl and once this cures put it on top of there okay now I can see little empty spaces so we can move that when you heat up your resin it moves a little becomes a little more fluid so there's my white I'm going to scrape off the color, scrape the side. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. Okay, so there's my white. Then I'm going to try this Alumalite Blue. And I looked and looked and looked everywhere for this and finally found it in... Um, I'm going to do it in here. Found it in where the model cars are. I finally asked the guy to tell me where it was because I couldn't find it. One drop. This is not wanting to come out. It says you're supposed to cut this first, but I don't want to. Two. I want it to stay the way it is. Where's the scissors? So I guess it's not here. I know what I'll do. I'll poke the hole in the top. Because it's not going in there very good. Okay, why are you not working? I poked a hole all the way down in you. Of course. Gotta give me trouble. There's a drip. Okay, well there's three drops. Let's see how that works. Oh, that worked perfect. That's all I needed. That is a beautiful blue. Look at that. So pretty. They only had a few colors in that. I want to get some pigment gel. But you guys seen I put three tiny, tiny drops in there of that stuff. And it made it this beautiful, deep blue color. It would be perfect for like an ocean pour. Okay, so there's that one. Let's do this blue for my pigment powder powders. These are kind of metallic-y. Let's start with that and see. And if you use the mica powders, just be really careful if you don't put it on first or put it in your cup first because it'll cloud up on you and like poof of powder. So you want to like mix really slow until the powder gets mixed in there and then you can mix it faster. Otherwise you're going to get a bunch of pigment powder dust blowing up. Oh, that one's really pretty too. Look at that. Super gorgeous. Hopefully these colors are coming across on the camera. Okay, let's close this one. Close that one and then I'm going to do so have the dark blue. Let's do some pink. And this one. Oof. Pink. And that's actually what color it says on the package, pink. Like I said, if you guys want to fast forward through all this, you can. 
I was thinking about just mixing up these colors before I even turn the camera on so you guys didn't have to watch or wait. But for some people that don't know how to do this, it's kind of good to see it happening. This fly is like bugging me. Okay. So scrape your sides. You want to make sure those powders get incorporated really good and are all mixed up. Oh, that's pretty too. Okay, pink. Let's do some soft lavender. I'm going to use a little less pigment powder this time. A little less. So just like the tip of your um, popsicle stick, is really enough and then if it's not dark enough or opaque enough that you want then you can always add more harder to take away than add to it so Ooh, that's really pretty too that soft lavender okay and then I have one more, but I'm going to put a little bit of this right there and right here. I only need a little bit of this color. Okay, so this is crystal blue. If I can get the bag open. Crystal blue. And just like the tip, uh-oh, I got it. Great. Don't do it over your work, because now that's gonna be on there. Silly, silly, silly. It'll probably be all right. Okay, mix that up. That should be good. And get that off. Why I can. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn on the heat gun. plug in the heat gun so I can move around and pop any bubbles that are on this, which is crooked for you guys. Okay. Move those over a little bit. Alright, here we go. Let's pop these bubbles. this out. This helps too if like your um, wood has any little divots or anything in it. This little flood coat will um, fill in those holes for divots or anything like that. What that is, get it out, get it out, get it out. Okay. So I'm going to attempt this little puddle pour and we'll see how this works. Do that color and we'll do some of this blue. That 
blue. No, stay in there. That blue one will do a little bit of, let's do some lavender. Or actually here, let's do some of this blue too. Just use the popsicle stick. Do that. A little bit of the lavender. And a tiny bit of the pink. right there in the center. And then let's see, do we want to do white around it? <clears throat> let's see how this works out, guys. Okay, I'm gonna heat it up. I don't think this is strong enough to blow it out. Oh, it might be. But not as how I want it to, so let's try. Ooh, we're getting some cells. Pretty. Okay, let's do another one over here. Let's see. Do I want to do... Yeah, let's do the dark blue again. Dark blue. Some of that blue, some of this blue. I should have done like a gold or something. Kind of give it some different little effects. Let's put some white in the center. Oh, I probably should have did that. Okay, let's go around it with white. Okay, let's torch it, get the bubbles out, get it warmed up so it'll move, and then let's use air dryer. going the way I want it to go, but nonetheless, it's still pretty. Okay, well then let's try this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it, guys. We're just gonna pour some on here. And see what we get. We'll come up with something. Something will work out of this.
because those puddle pour things do not work for me. I think I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do now. We are going to do some dark blue here. Purple. This blue. Some white. Do some white in between these colors. see what we get with this. Let's see what we get with this. Mm 
put in here. I don't know guys, now I'm just winging it because it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Okay, some white. In between there. And let's see, let's torch this. I want to do some blue at maybe down here. Maybe through here. Sorry, I'm concentrating now, guys. I got super quiet. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what to do. What to do with this piece. Because I wanted to do flowers, and it just did not turn out as flowers. So, a little bit of white there, a little bit of white there, right there. see what colors do I have left do I want to add a little pink in here no I kind of like this other pink But I like the dark in between that. So let's do a little bit of this dark. I'm going to go from high up because I want like a really thin. Really thin there. 
Okay. Let's torch this. Pop the bubbles, heat it up so it'll move. I got some cells, which I was definitely looking for. sides make sure my sides are covered let's see do I like it I don't know what to do to fix it if I don't though it that is the problem I definitely have to keep working with resin and how to come up with something that pretty. I probably could have just tilted it instead of blow drying it. That's probably what I needed to do. Heat it up and tilt it. Gosh, this color, these colors are so pretty though. Very pretty colors. Okay, do I want to add some more white? I have a tiny bit of white. Feel like it needs some breaking up. I really like the cells down here, and I really like this dark color. Try to heat it up and tilt it, see what I get.
don't know if I like it or not. I really like that pink that's up there though. Where that came from, I don't know, but it's pretty. Let's see, maybe we can tilt this. Give it some, ooh, yeah, that's pretty, I like that. Kind of looks like sunset sky. Ooh, look at that. That resin is warm too. Look, it looks like the ocean and then the sky. I think I like that. <laughs> I think I like it now. Oh, look at the cells. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Look at this. Looks like the ocean and then like a sunset sky. That's pretty. I think I like this one. I don't know if I want to do a little bit more. <laughs> Here I go. Some more blue and some more white just to bring this up a little bit more. Or should I just leave it the heck alone? You guys scream at me. Tell me. <laughs> scream at me and tell me. Leave it alone. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it alone. I may, maybe. Put those waves up a little bit. I just kind of wanted the C to be up a little bit more. Like the ocean and the sunset sky. That is super pretty over here. Getting cells. And I'm wondering if I should do. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave it alone because I'm gonna keep messing with it and then I'm gonna ruin it. And I like it where it's at right now. So. This will be my mom's birthday present, and I will put the little saying on here in vinyl, and then probably do another clear coat of resin over it if it needs it. So right now you can go around and get all the drips off, which underneath here I, um, I put tape. So that all these drips will come off really easy but you can just run your finger underneath there and get them all off now you'll have to do it again too but get it all off now and um, make sure to like lean down and get different angles and make sure there's no hairs or dust bunnies or anything like that in your in your painting and then you're gonna want to cover this up so that no dust or anything gets on there and ruins your resin because otherwise you'll have to sand it down and do another clear coat sometimes if you're lucky or you have really watched you only need this one coat and you won't have to recoat it but if you have to you got to sand it down and then coat it again just in a, a clear coat okay super pretty I'm gonna stop right there so let me know what you guys think down below I'm definitely just learning resin art haven't really I've done like maybe two three pieces 
and none of them turned out the way I wanted them to. This one actually turned out pretty, so I like this one. Thank God I like it because it's for my mother. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think and any tips you have. If you do resin art, any tips you could give me would be amazing. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, um, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that bell for notifications of my future videos so you can keep up to date with me. Thanks for watching.